Industry is there with us. Sanjit Tibrival, Chief Executive Director, is with us now. So thank you so much for taking our time for us. You know, you're a company that catered to the textile space. And, you know, when we talk about the speciality textile space in terms of chemical, what is the sort of demand that you're seeing, especially in terms of the export growth that some of these, some of your clients are seeing pretty massively? There's been a substantial growth in the performance of Finotex. I mean, based in the last three quarters, we have grown, the demand has grown up uh, dramatically. The volume growth, which we have seen is almost 62% in the quarter four. And similarly, in the last three quarters, our company has grown up by quarter two or by 64%, quarter three by 81% and quarter four by 62% respectively. So broadly, yes, there is definitely a big demand coming from the foreign countries as well. And, and also the domestic demand has gone up. Also looking at the kind of, uh, you know, the kind of the specialty chemicals demand, which has come to India, a lot of companies are looking at setting up their, you know, the supply chain from India. This is helping us dramatically. So that is the way we have been progressing. At the same time, our new plant in Abarnath, which has uh, shaped up, you know, which has commissioned recently in the last quarter. So the volumes growth has also, and the turnover has also grown up substantially based on the new investments, which we have done in Abarnath. Okay, let's take that conversation forward, Sanjay, about the Ambanath plant. What kind of revenue contribution can it have? What is the utilization level right now of that unit? And uh, what's the guidance outlook for your uh, businesses like cleaning, hygiene, as well as drilling specialties? Well, we just commissioned our Ambanath uh, unit in the last uh, four or five months. It's uh, ramping up very well. We have almost touched, uh, let's say, 40% of the capacity already. And in fact, uh, there is already a new capex which has been commissioned right now. It will get initiated by July 1st. So there is an additional capex of 21,000 tons. Recently, we have done a capex of 36,000 tons, out of which almost 40% broadly has been utilized. And it's looking like this quarter we'll be touching almost the optimum levels also. This is because of the big demand of, like you said, for the cleaning and hygiene industry, which has taken up. And that is also one of our synergies of the specialty textile chemicals, which we are offering. So that's the way we are ramping up our Ambarnath facilities and all are being done by Internet Equals right now. Sanjay, tell us uh, that the cotton prices have spiked considerably this year, right? Uh, has that has any impact as far as domestic demand goes? Uh, well, definitely there has been a cautious approach in the yarn companies and the fabric companies because uh, there can be a, tre a reversal trend also, which has been expected in the cotton prices and also the coal prices and things like that. Having said that, you know, the demands, the kind of uh, the population growth and the kind of, you know, the disposable income in the consumers globally will definitely, you can postpone the demands, that's it. I mean, ultimately the demand is still there. And at the same time, there has been a lot of inventory in the USA and the European ports and, and their warehouses as well. So basically the, the plan now with most of the textile companies, what we look at from is that they are trying to clear out their stocks right now at the same time once there is a big uh, demand coming up they will start looking at the cotton prices and securing the orders at the current levels and sanjay for the entire year the revenue jumped up by almost 69 percent a profit growth of 30 percent is this kind of growth rate sustainable for fi 23 is that what we should pencil in if you look at our overall uh, performance in the last uh, three quarters as well, we have always done something which has uh, more than what we had expected about. Uh, we can expect similar trends to happen because of the cleaning and hygiene chemicals which has picked up and also the kind of demand which is coming for the textile specialty performance chemicals broadly. At the same time, our EBITDA in the last 11 years average is always around 18 to 19% broadly. So that is the similar kinds of EBITDA which we are expecting as well in the future. So I think this is what we can expect in the coming years as well. In fact, if you analyze the quarter four earnings, if you analyze the quarter four earnings, it is almost touching 500 crores for in, in that way. So as such, if we locate it, it, the demand is still coming up. It looks the quarter one is also going quite well. So it, we are very much excited with the opportunities which is coming to us right now. Uh, you know, Sanjay, I had a very important question for you that, you know, overall, 
uh, when you talk to any other specialty chemical company, they're facing two issues. One is raw material that of course is out of hand for everyone. And second is a lot of people have client concentration. And that's why once their client is slowing down, the revenue rate, the growth rates are coming down. Can you tell us uh, how are you coping up with that? Because I was looking at your client list and there seems to be hardly any concentration. Perfect. Uh, as you have rightly pointed out, there has been a price rise in almost all the raw material prices. Let me tell you where are we located. We are uh, not only a specialty performance chemical producer, but we offer a lot of technical solutions to the user. Our entire cost, I, I mean, all the range of the products which we produce cost only 3% to the consumers. So as such, we are into a very much solution driven high tech performance chemical businesses where the cost is being passed on to the user by and large, eventually. So we are not one of those companies which are just one, of, you know, like a commodity chemicals or something. In the last 11 years, you can see our kind of EBITDA track mark, which is almost 18 to 19 percent overall. So that is because we are into a, a performance chemicals where we provide solutions to the customers. So we are able to also pass on the price increase to the consumers as and when it happens. So. So I think that is the differentiation I can say from Finotex to the rest of the companies you are referring about. At the same time, uh, you know, the kind of concentration exactly broadly, we are present in almost all the processes of textiles. We have all the solutions for all the substrates. All of them together is contributing only 3% cost to the user. And this is also helping us to make a different strategy in which we are having a lot of product lines and our top 10 customers only contribute broadly 38% of our revenues. So we are quite diversified. We are quite balanced kind of a company, even in the product range or in the, in the customer concentration point of view. Thank you so much, Sanjay, for explaining that point. It's an important point that how they pass on what is their raw material and, of course, the client concentration, which, of course, I think is something which even some of the sell-side analysts have earlier pointed out to. Thanks so much, Sanjay. I uh, hope to talk to you once again after your numbers. Let's